Okay, the 69Z. Like I said, it came out about 1977. And here's what we got. There's tires and wheels. Or the tires, I should say. Here's the body. This one already had the glass taped in, which is fine. It's not glued in. So I thought it was a, a nice find. Here's the front end. Goes on it. Interior tub. Chassis. I mean, that's not a bad kit. Like I said, it's not the best kit in the world, and a lot of people aren't into it, but hey. The uh, wheels are all very interesting. Of course, you got your side pipes, grill, bumpers, your seats and rear end. Bagging plates, engine, your heads, some suspension, firewall. And of course, you know, this kit is, uh, it's used so some parts are loose but nice looking hood i think it's pretty cool i like it this definitely takes me back to uh, my childhood days back in you know, 76 77 when like i said i remember going to kmart buying this kit new there's the glass the rest of the glass i think the only thing that's been painted on is the hood scoop we can strip that down Here's the decal sheet. I didn't use these decals back then, so obviously I won't use these either. We all have plenty of decals. And here's the instruction sheet on this. Just simple instructions. I've seen this kit several times at swap meets, and it's usually pretty expensive. I've always passed on it, but um, I got a nice buy on this one, so I was very, very happy to find it. And again, I think the, the reason the uh, price was right is because it had already been opened up and parts were taken off. I started off by addressing these injection spots that were in the interior with my favorite putty, and then started sanding all the mold lines on all the parts. And after all the mold lines were sanded, I had a whole pile of parts ready to clean and paint. Started gluing up all my halves. And th this series has just been way too fun, building all my childhood cars that I loved building when I was a kid. Just what a great time. The Flip Nose 57, the Flip Nose Chevelle, the Streaker Vet. Oh, everyone loves the Streaker Vet. The Tom Daniels kit. Just a great time. It's been a fun series of building these cars. We still got a busy bench, getting some things painted up. And again, just building this thing like I was when I was a kid, because this is one of my favorite kits to build when I was a kid. And this has brought back some great memories. The radiator on this kit is wonderful. I addressed it by giving it a black wash. Um, I got a couple different black washes I like to use. Black wash the grill. It come out really nice. There it's all finished up. And one of my favorite black washes to use is this one right here, the Vallejo wash. I love that stuff. It's great. And I thin it down a little bit more with the airbrush thinner. Address the uh, springs in the back. Hit them with a quick Sharpie after they were painted. Working on the tires and wheels. Got them mounted. Picked them up from the tire and wheel shop. And they're ready to put on the car and roll. Another busy bench picture. Working on getting the body ready for paint. I think I'm going to surprise you on the color of paint. Now, there's a couple cool kits I just picked up on the right there. I'm anxious to start on those. Man, it's a great time to be a modeler. But anyway, I walked outside. It was a beautiful sunny day, and I just spray canned this thing outside. Love spray bombing. And I think the paint come out really great. There's the paint I used. It's my favorite can of paint to use that... that Paint is just wonderful, it goes on. Look at that, just a super deep shine. My favorite paint ever to use to paint a car. Love that stuff. Well, anyway, back inside while the paint's drying, getting everything on all four, tires and wheels are done, 
engine transmissions done, radiators in. This thing's really coming along quick. Got her flipped over, putting glass in, and see the tape there? I like to tape my glass in and then glue it in. Just a little tip there so the glass doesn't move around. Then once it's done, you can pull the tape, paint the headliner, and voila, the car is put together. Man, this was such a fun build. The Monogram 69 Camaro. Let me know down below if you ever built this kit. It's been a long, it's been out for a long time. It's a oldie but a goodie. Super fun kit to build. It's a great kit. I, I plan on building another one. I built several of these when I was a kid, and it's brought back some great childhood memories. And after all, model building is all about having fun. And I've been really having a good time in this series. I hope you enjoyed this Monogram 69Z28 as much as I did. We'll see you guys on the next video on Throttle Power.